What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic floor plan with Revit architecture. The first thing I'm going to do is open up Revit. Now I'm using 2014, but this should be very similar with 2011 and up. The first step is going up to this R. Clicking New. And then what you're going to want to do is click Browse. You're going to look for the residential default template, and then you're going to click on it, and then click open, and then click OK. Next, we're going to want to change our elevations. So scroll down in your project browser menu here, and I'm just going to click on the north elevation. I'm going to zoom in, change my foundation level to negative 1, and then I'm going to click this C so it doesn't overlap the first floor. I'm going to change my top of footing to negative 9, and my bottom of footing to negative 10. Then I'm going to scroll back up in the project browser and click first floor. Now what I'm going to do is draw the exterior walls. So I'm going to go up here and click Home or Architecture in the newer versions. And I'm going to click Wall. Then it's going to give me all my different walls here. And I'm going to select. You have to select the exterior one for the exterior side of your house. And I'm just going to select this one. And then to draw my walls, it's very easy. You're just going to drag in the shape that you want your house. So I'm just going to make a shape here. Doesn't really matter about the numbers right now because I'll go back and change those. There's my basic shape of a house. So now we have to make sure the walls are facing the right way. So the easiest way to do this is to scroll down here and click 3D. Now as you can see all these walls are faced the wrong way because here's the siding with all the lines so all you have to do to fix that is click on it and then click the space bar and it will flip all these around. Once you have that done you can go back to your first floor and now we're going to annotate. So. For the exterior walls, you're going to want to go from the outside of the wall to the outside of the wall. And I'll show you that here. So go up to Annotate and then click Aligned. And it won't, see, it won't let me select the outside wall. So what I'm going to do is click Tab and then it will let me select it. So Tab and then Tab again. And I'm just going to annotate all these walls on this side right away. And then once you're done annotating, you just click, and then they will stay there. Outside to outside again here. And then I'm going to finish off my last side. All right, good. Now, as you can see, these numbers are very hard to read, so I'm going to change that. To change that, you just click on it, and you go over here to the Properties box, and then click Edit Type. Then you have to scroll down quite a ways until you see Text Size, and I'm just going to change it to 1 fourth, and then just click OK. Now they're all bigger. Now, as you can see, most of these are not nice numbers, and I want them to be nice numbers. So, to ch fix this, you're going to want to click on the wall you want to move. So, if I want this number, instead of 12, to be 10, I'm going to click on this wall, click that number, and then put in what I want it to be. So, 10. 
Um, this wall, let's just say 20. I'm just making these up. You can make these whatever you'd like. Or whatever size house you want. I'm just going around doing all these. Um, I'm going to do this side first. I want this one the same as that. It's very simple to do. All you do is click the wall you want to move and then the dimension you want to change. And as you can see, now I have all nice numbers. So that is part one in creating a Revit house. If this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Please subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.